Now in this problem, you are asked to find uh, the effective resistance between uh, the points A and B. Okay. So this happens to be the continuation of uh, star to delta conversion. Now you have a resistance which is connected between this point and the shorted point that is B here. I can rewrite this circuit as So if this resistance is connected between this point and this, so I can rewrite the circuit like this because I have maintained the um, node connections because A term is connected between this point and the reference line here. So a same resistance I have written it this way so that it will be easier for us to understand. So I will get rid of this we already had a jumper there so it clearly indicates that it is connected between this point of this uh, bypassing this resistance 3 ohm so I will be getting a um, resistance here right? that is 8 ohm now have a closer look at uh, the resistance 4 and uh, 3 they are connected between same two points if we observe carefully 4 ohm and 3 ohm are connected between uh, same two points so they are in parallel so one point being here and the other point is shorted so you have uh, 4 and 3 ohm which is uh, they are in parallel so I can replace it 4 and 3 by a single resistance 4 in parallel with 3 as 4 into 3 divided by 4 plus 3 so it will be 1 point 1.7143 ohms and rest of the parameters of the circuits like uh, the resistance and other things will remain uh, constant only thing is the, the 4 ohm and 3 ohm were in parallel because they were connected between same two points so I have computed the equivalent of those right? now again I can see that this 4 ohm and 8 ohm they are connected between same two points uh, the points being one point here and other point here which is shorted so 4 and 8 they are in, uh, they are in parallel so uh, 4 and 8 in parallel would fetch me 4 into 8 divided by 4 plus 8 it is 2 point I will write it here it is 2.6667 ohms right 4 into 8 divided by 4 plus 8 now 6 ohm is in uh, series with uh, 2.6667 so it is just the addition of uh, 2.6627 to 6 so it will be 8.6667 ohms okay? and four, 5 and 1.7134 are in series so it will be addition of 1 1.7143 to 5 so it will be 6.7143 now these two resistances are in parallel so effective is 6 point so RAB can be written as 6.7143 into 8.6667 divided by their sum so it is uh, 6.7143 plus 8.6667 so this will be equal to 3 point 7833 ohms. So the resistance between A and B is um, 3.7833 ohms. Now we can solve this uh, problem in another method. Uh, if I were to rewrite the circuit 5 ohm, 3 ohms, uh, 4 ohms is present here, uh, right, and I have a 6 ohm resistance which is connected here and a 4 ohm resistor again which is connected and they have a short here so if you have a jumper here and 8 ohm resistor connected here right so as we can see here these uh, three uh, okay what is the resistance here 6 ohm and uh, this is uh, 4 ohms right what in by solving this uh, circuit 
I mean simplifying the circuit in one one method, I have got uh, RAV to be 3.7833. This is one more method which you can follow. See, this 5, 3 and 4 are connect, are star connected. 5, 3 and 4 are connected. Say for example, I take AB, right? And uh, that same point is here, present here. So, uh, this is 5, 3 and 4. There is one more star connected network that is 6, 4 and 8. 6, 4 and 8. Right? So, this is, this circuit is a combination of two star connected network. Now, I can convert this to a delta network. Right? So, I will be getting equivalent here. Like this. Okay. And what is this uh, delta value? I mean, what is this resistance value? It is got by, we have already seen in a star or delta conversion. Here it is uh, star to delta conversion and it is R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R1, R3 divided by the opposite resistance. So, it will be 5 into 3, 15 plus 5 into 4, 20 plus uh, 4 into 3, 12. This is the uh, 35, 45, 47. So, the numerator is 47, right? And uh, this resistance is got by dividing 47 by 4. So, this is 47 by 4. This is 47 by 3 because it is opposite. Here, this is 47 by 5. Right. So, I have converted a star network into delta. Here also, similar way, I will be getting 8 into 4, 32, plus 6 into 4, 24, plus 8 into 6, 48. So, uh, the sum will be 12, 14, 6, 10, 104. So, the sum, the numerator is 104 and this resistance is got by 104 divided by 8. So, I will get it here and this resistance is 104 divided by 4 and this resistance is 104 divided by 6. So, I will get three, uh, 2 delta connected networks. Now, once we get the delta connected networks between the points, see this star and this star, we have converted them into 2 deltas connected between same 2 points. See, I will be getting a delta here this delta I am talking about and one more delta which is parallel to it right which is parallel but there is a short which is present already here so I will get that short as well so on simplification these two are in parallel these two are in parallel these two are in parallel but in parallel with what a short and what is the resistance of the short zero Right. So, if you have say for example 3 ohm and 4 ohm in parallel, it is 4 into 3 divided by 4 plus 3, so 12 by 7 in parallel with 0. So, in parallel with 0 will fetch you 12 by 7 into 0 divided by sum, so it will be 0 ohms. Right. So, I will be getting a short here. Right. So, the two resistances which are connected here uh, which uh, we will be getting in delta connection will be nullified by the by this short so I will be getting a short here and then I can simplify this so I will get a resistance here and I will get one more resistance here in turn they are in parallel and find the parallel combination uh, equivalent so that will be again equal to again be equal to 3.7833 ohms so the same problem can be solved in uh, different methods the one which I told you is uh, very efficient because uh, only the thing is you need to know how to convert from delta, I mean star to delta. So for uh, more information on this, uh, refer my previous video on proof of star to delta conversion. Thank you. In this problem again, the effective, between, effective resistance between A and B is asked. Right. Now, you have a delta connection of 2, 2 and 2 ohms. Now, we know that delta can be converted into star. So, I will be getting 
star network here right now what is this resistance from the basics we know that it is multiplication of adjacent divided by the sum it is 2 into 2 divided by sum that is uh, 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 so it is 4 by 6 or 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 2 plus 2 it is 4 by 6 that is 2 by 3 so I can remove this delta and I can rewrite the star here as 2 by 3 ohms 2 by 3 ohms and 2 by 3 ohms right this 4 and 2 by 3 they are in series so it is 4 plus 2 by 3 it is 12 12 plus 2 that is 14 by 3 ohms right so all the three are 14 by 3 ohms so all the three resistances are 14 by 3 right this is 14 by 3 ohms 14 by 3 ohms and 14 by 3 now we have a star connection whose um, delta equivalent can be found out right so uh, what is a delta connection equivalent that is got by r1 r2 plus r1 r3 plus r r1 r3 uh, sorry r1 r2 r2 r3 and r1 r3 divided by opposite resistances so i can convert this as a delta this star i am converting it to delta so i'll get a resistance between these two nodes a resistance here and a resistance here between these two nodes right and all the resistances are equal because we have all three resistances to be equal so what is the numerator it is 14 by 3 into 14 by 3 14 by 3 plus 14 by 3 into 14 by 3 plus 14 by 3 into 14 by 3 divided by see if I want this delta equivalent resistance divided by 14 by 3 this 14 by 3 so this is 3 times 14 by 3 into 14 by 3 because one time it is here one time and one more time so 3 times 14 by 3 3 times 14 by 3 into 14 by 3 divided by 14 by 3 so 14 by 3 gets cancelled and this 3 also gets cancelled so I get 14 ohms okay. so these resistances uh, resistance values of delta are delta will be 14 ohms each 14 ohms this is also 14 ohms this is also 14 ohms right now we need to compute what is the value of this parallel combination of 2 and 14 it is got by 2 into 14 divided by 2 plus 14 it is 2 into 14 divided by 16 right so I get 8 here and uh, 7 here and 4 so I get 7 by 4 ohms right 7 by 4 ohms here and 7 by 4 ohms here so the equivalent would be equivalent would be and again I will be getting 7 by 4 ohms here so this is 7 by 4 this is 7 by 4 and again this is 7 by 4 7 by 4 ohms, 7 by 4 ohms, right? These two are in series. So, it is 7 by 4 plus 7 by 4. It is 2 times 7 by 4. It is 7 by 2, right? 7 by 2. So, I will be getting a resistance, single resistance here as 7 by 7 by 2. Now, 7 by 4 and 7 by 2 are in series, uh, are in parallel. Pardon me. So it is 7 by 2 into 
सेवन बाय फोर डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन बाय टू प्लस सेवन बाय फोर एंड इफ आई इफ यू कंप्यूट दिस यू एंड अप गेटिंग वन पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेवन ओम्स एस द फाइनल आंसर व्हिच इज द एफेक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी सो वी हैड कन्वर्टेड द इनर डेल्टा ऑफ टू 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 ओम्स इनटू स्टार then we got a star connection then again that star connection we converted into delta uh, then we got two parallel connections of the resistors we found the equivalent and then we then we found that they are in series then we got a parallel resistance two parallel resistances then we computed the equivalent of those so the final answer for a resistance between a and b is 1.167 ohms now in this circuit you are asked to find the star equivalent of the given circuit star so that means i need to convert this circuit in the form of a star connection right now we know that uh, these two are in parallel these two are in parallel so 12 and 12 in parallel would uh, finally eventually result in 12 by 2 right we have I've already proved this, or you can uh, compute 12 into 12 divided by 12 plus 12. So this is 6 ohms, and uh, this would be uh, 14 in parallel with 14. So it will be 14 into 14 divided by 14 plus 14. So it is 7. Right. Now this network is a simple delta network because this is same point. So I can rewrite this 6 and 7 like this. They are connected between same two points. Six and seven. So this is six ohms and seven ohms, right? So this is a delta network. I can convert this into a star, right? So I I'll be getting these three resistances. Yes. Now I need to find the value of this this resistance. So it can be got this resistance is nothing but the product divided by the sum right so this resistance is delta to star conversion 6 into 13 divided by the sum 13 plus 6 plus 7 that is 20 13 plus 7 is 20 and you uh, here you have 26 so this value of the resistance is will be 3 ohms because 13 ones two times so this will be 3 ohms here i would be getting the product of adjacent that is 13 into 7 divided by 26 again sum so two times this will be 3.5 okay and this will be 6 into 7 divided by 26 it will be 1.6154 ohms so i hope uh, by now all of you are clear how to convert a delta network into star network it is if you have if you are given with a delta uh, uh, to convert it into star it is pretty simple uh, take the adjacent resistances multiply those and divide by the sum so that will be the um, star equivalent network resistances so what we have got is one resistance here and one resistance here one more here so this value is 3 ohms this value is 3.5 ohms and this value is um, 1.6154 ohms so this is the equivalent star network of the original original circuit